What's up, guys? With Deku was Zora. Part one. Zora, okay, Deku, the age of four, checked for a quark, quarkless. So then his mother abandons him. Yeah, this is a remastered version. So then he finds a dojo, he trains there, meets Karina, he's better than every adult. Karina's still better than him though. She dies and Zora vows to become the number one swordsman for both of them. And like, oh yeah, Mihawk is gonna be a hero in this timeline. So, Deku, when she dies, he, when he turns, when Deku turns um, 12, he's like, March 17, we're gonna settle. He's like, you have some good fighting skills, but still, you're 12. Like, basically. But then just like, alright, I'll give you these swords. Look after yourself. He's like, but aren't these Karina's swords? And then he's like, yes, but she's dead. You, you should carry them. That's what she would want. So then he's like, okay, I guess so. I want to know if I should break off. You know, I want to. I want Wando Ichimonji to break because of the history put into it. Then I want Zoro to try and fix it, and it fails. Zoro becomes sad and pissed at whoever broke it. It's like I will kill that person. Then he gets, he gets Amune Hakabiri, Amune Hakabiri, and then ends them. Then he finds out he can fix it. Anyway. Um, Deku be Deku does go out. He becomes a bounty hunter, taking people's bounties that are like thirty million yen. All that he's defeating villains left and right. He's not a vigilante, and like they. Like, Aizawa and that, they've met him before, they tried to stop him, and he explained he's quarkless. And they're like, what? He's like, I only use swords. They're like, yeah, but you're killing people. He's like, I'm a bounty hunter. The poster to say dead or alive. I only kill them if they resist. And he's like, whoa. And Aizawa and that, he's pissed from the government. Like, they said, don't use your quark, but... If, like unless you have like a strength quark, like if your quark's gonna not inf affect the environment, then you can use it against them. If your quark affects the environment, or it's flashy, don't use it against them. That's basically how it is. So as I was like, how old are you, kid? Anyway, like you, you're a kid. And it's like, well, my mother abandoned me for being quarkless. I found this dojo, then my rival, Koina, she died. She was killed by a hero who raped. Uh, then they're like, oh. They're like, well, kid, do you want to be a hero? And he's like, all oh, heroes are scum. I'm never going to be a hero. And All Might with him, and he's like, that's not true. And he's like, All Might, what's the real reason you're a hero? Almost like, what do you mean? Almost like, to save people. And he's like, no, don't give me that bullshit. You can't save everyone. What is the real reason you are a hero? And then, then that is then. Oh my! Says I, I already told you. He's like, stop lying to yourself. And the real reason you did it was for glory, wasn't it? I'm never gonna be a hero. I vowed to Queen to be the number one swordsman. If she died. Or oh, she, we, one of us would become the number one. That's what we vowed. They're like, whoa. Oh, yeah, Dracula Mihawk's number one hero, by the way. They're like, oh, that right now is Dracula Mihawk. And they're like, and you have to kill the number one swordsman. They're like, yes, that's right. They're like, but you would be a villain if you did that. He's like, I made a promise and I will not break it. As I was like, that story is interesting. How about you join UA's junior school? So he's like, all right, that would be an okay experience, but I'm not going to be a hero. Like, mm, sure, whatever, but you'll still be counted as a hero, 
If you do it, you'll be counted as a hero. And he's like, fine, all right. So he does, he joins it, and I'm gonna say, Bakugo, Todoroki, Ida, they're all in that school. And Komenari, that class when they are in that school. So Bakugo remembers Deku, and he's like, Oh, Deku, it's you. How, have you. how have you been? How come you disappeared? And he's like, oh, Bakugo. He's like, my mother burnt me because I'm quirkless. And then Bakugo changes. He's like, you quirkless nerd. How are you even in this school? They see his switch. But Bakugo, Bakugo was being nice, but at the same time cocky to Deku. And then he's like, <laughs> Deku starts laughing. And he says, have you heard of the demon mist? Or also known as the purple mist. And then he puts three swords. He puts the th- he uses his three swords. And then he activates his purple eye. And then they're like, oh my god, he's the demon mist. How is he even in the UA? Then he's like, Destructive tiger overload. Then he, he slashes forwards to Bakugo and nearly hitting him. But then Dracul Mihawk slices it, saying, slices it with a knife. And he's like, It's like a Dracul Mihawk. I challenge you to a fight. And he's like, Boy, with that little of power, like, I vow to someone I'd be the number one swordsman, and you're the only person standing in my way. So Mihawk's like, okay. And then they fight, right? And Mihawk only uses the knife and he's winning. Then he uses his special move on Mihawk and it doesn't work. Then he gets hit. Then he puts his arms out and opens his chest. Then Mihawk's like, you're a worthy opponent, pulling out his sword one handed and slashing him on the chest. And then they're like, he just killed him! And then he puts away the sword. And then he walks away almost like, Mihawk, you just killed someone! He's like, that's the way of the sword. Everyone who challenges you, you have to kill them. They're like, oh. and Zoro is healed up. Like, he has the scars, but he's healing himself. Every goes like, you're lucky if you were a regular person, you'll be a dead, you're quackless, you should just drop out of the school. And she's like, he's like, has the number one hero ever called you a worthy opponent? And then she stops like, Nani? The fuck do you think you're talking to? Listen to your elderly, respect your elderly. So, a week later, Deku comes back in, he has the Zoro outfit from Okay, so this is what he's gonna you know, look like like he comes into you I may as well. I may as well. Oh yeah, when he was younger he looked like this. It was simple. So Deku is, so Deku comes back and they're like, he's alive. He took a direct hit from the number one hero. And he's walking regularly. Like, they're like, he literally healed up in no time whatsoever. And they're like, are you okay? Like, that was a lot of damage. A regular person would have died. And he only has one sword. And he's like, damn, he broke my sword. I lost my sword. Ah, oh, gonna have to get them back. Then he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna have to get new ones, new more high quality." So then he pulls out his bounty bag, which is the equivalent of um about the five hundred five hundred bi- I mean, uh, one billion yen. Yeah, I'm gonna say one billion yen. I was gonna say five hundred million yen, but the amount of people he's bounty hunted. One billion yen, all my bounty hunting. I'll spend it on swords. And they're like, Oh, huh? you could buy a house with that. And I'm almost like, You have more money than I've ever made. And so you should have became a, a bounty hunter, Mr. I want glory. 
And then he's like, kid, I already told you I became a hero because I wanted to save people. He's like, stop lying to yourself. And, and, and everyone's like, he's telling all oh my. He, he, he's standing up to so, all my, the number two, the number two hero. The nigga who's number two. Who thought me, oh yeah, Shanks is a real person in this. Like, he's not a villain, but like they class him as like one of the... He's a big emperor. So like they say he's one of the, he has one of the four biggest empires. And he's the only person who has ever fought Mihawk. We don't know the outcome. Oh no, Shanks is alive. No one has any scars. Yeah. Well, other than Shanks' eye scar. In fact, I'm going to say Mihawk has a scar as well. It's on the side of his chest where you can't see it. And it's like Zoro's scar. And Shanks also has a scar more that you could see on his chest. And he has a eye scratch marks. So, <laughs> Zoro, nah, they, they go to the USJ. Zoro only has one sword, so it's like, shit, I only have one sword. And he needs damage, he's like, so villains are gonna be here. And he's like, they're like what? He's like, for some reason I can hear everything and I hear villains coming here saying he says and I can feel, I can sense it. So when the, he jumps down and removes his bandages, they're like, What? No, and they still cease. No, yeah, he doesn't remove his bandages. He takes out his sword and like, oh little kid's gonna beat us, he's like if you would know, if he knew who I was, he then his eye glue. You know, I can't be bothered to scroll all the way back here. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas, I ain't playing. I ain't playing. I could scroll a bit, but like, so he says, I'm the demon, I'm the demon of the, I'm the, I'm the mist demon, whatever, the demon of mist. Of what? Impossible! He has three swords. He's like, well, I fought the number one hero, Mihawk, to try and become the best swordsman. I lost, and he broke my other swords. So then, and they're like, okay. Okay. He just, so they're like, ha. We're not gonna do anything. You're ambushed. He's like, how much are all of your bounties combined together? They're like, I'm not gonna say there's a genius that he says, about 500 million yen. If you can collect that, then, then you will be noticed as a powerful person. And I'm gonna say, someone there has 100. Now I'm gonna say someone there has two hundred million. He's like, this guy has two hundred million yen, and Shigaraki has a hundred million. So everyone there is two hundred million there. So he's like, this is gonna be fun. So he's like, let me start with the weaker ones, and he's like, one sword style, oh, wind dragon burst. Slicing it towards him, and then like a giant wind dragon hitting all of everyone. But the people, but the people were like 100 million, 200 million, they dodge. So then you know, there's an Shigaraki and Shinji. I'm gonna name him Shinji. All right, it just came to mind. Shinji's like, you. Yeah. If you can claim my bounty, <laughs> then you may be, you may actually get my bounty. It's like, I'm gonna kill you. The heroes are like, what? Oh yeah. And I'm gonna say they have, wait, the fuck? No, he's not even in UA. I'm gonna just say they had a random villain attack, all right? Shigaraki's younger order, so. And so, Deku blitzing all of them. He's still 13, remember this. So, he then he he's like, okay, Shinji, I'm going to go all out. He pulls out his bandana. Oh, yeah, he went all out on Mihawk as well. So, like, 
And he's like, now you'll see my true power. And then he, and then, I, I, I'm going to say a purple mist covers his hand. No, but it's not hockey. It's more like, it's more like this. So like a purple fire covers his hand. And then, they're like, oh, what? He just, he just covered, his, oh yeah, and then it, it covered his blade, but not the tip of it. Like, you can still see the white part of Wonder, like the top bit there, but the, like the sword itself, that shit's purple. So he's like, this may kill me or you. He's like, full demon bloodlust. And he lets out all of his bloodlust. I mean, th this, the students are paralyzed. By you. They're only 12. Alright, yeah, they're only 12. Everyone's 12. And then he's like, hmm. Death. Death thorn. And then, no, so he's a... <laughs> flying... Flying Phoenix, seven angels. Then he slices towards him, and a phoenix that splits into seven different angels all fly at him. So it fly first the phoenix, it then it flies back, and the, and the phoenix hits then the angels, then poof, and then Zor and then Deku, aka Zoro, blitzes him, slicing his head, and then they're like, what? The students are like, what? That's what he does. And he's like, Shigaraki, so you want to fight me? Shigaraki's like, you'll be fighting no man. If he had a bounty, he's stronger than all my. And then Mihawk comes and sees Zoro about to fight no So he just stands there and like, I want to see what the boy can do. Looks like an iteration of Haki, but it's really not. Then he says, no, it is an iteration of Haki. He's unlocked one a one-handed form of Haki. They're like, what are you talking about? He's like, well, I'm quirkless, you know. They're like, what? That's impossible. What about all of your slashes, your abilities? It's like the way of the swordsman. There are multiple ways to buff your fighting style. One is a devil fruit, the originator of quirks. It gives you an ability... Like a special ability. Two is Haki. Counter to low gear devil fruits, which basically make you invulnerable. And Haki is like a metal like substance. That's an iteration of it. But not a full Haki arm. Um. I wonder if he could combine it to make the ultimate Haki form. And it's like and the three types of Haki. Buso Haki. Omen, I mean, Omen Haki, Observation Haki, and Conqueror's Haki. Conqueror's Haki is rare. Only men, only people with the qualities of the king or D in their name I get it. And they're like, well, Zedbaki is like, his name is Roro Noah D. Zoro. He's like, oh, so he has the will of D in his name. Just like me, Drakyo Di Miho. They're like, so you guys are related? And he's like, no, the will of D is something more than you being related. <laughs> it's a way of life, a kingship, if you would be a uh, king. So, like, so, so, the Baku was like, so how come I don't have the will of D in my name? And then he's like, because you're stuck up entitled child, that's why. Deku says, Blazing dragon rush trying to slice no more. slicing his arm off, arms off successfully. Then he says, Round two, blazing dragon rush slicing his head off. Let's see, round three, blazing dragon rush. He keeps increasing his speed like each time after. Then it regenerates in it. I'll target. His heart. He stabs his chest where its heart would be, and he tries to find a heart. He's like, "Oh, talk his brain." So he's like, 
if I'm gonna do this, he's like, ha, oh, dragon rush, throwing his sword at the enemy's brain, and then it accelerates into his brain, stabbing it in the brain. No, he still can move though, he's like, shit. So he uses his firearm to punch the gnome to the floor. Then he removes the sword, killing the gnome. Shigaraki's like, he he beat the gnome? Oh yeah, the gnome hit um thing Deku a few times. So he did take damage. He did take a lot, a lot of damage. And <laughs> Anyway, but then, oh yeah, and then he, the damage kicks in, and he's like, oh, <clears throat> and then he drops to the ground, or Shigaraki's about to touch him, right, no, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say he, the Nomi beats him, he doesn't beat the Nomi, but he damaged the Nomi a lot, like, he, his sword got in the Nomi's brain, but it didn't kill him because he didn't pull it out, so the Deku's on the floor of his chest, and Shigaraki's, gonna bring Deku with him because he's like I'm gonna make him a villain so he pulled so he tries to pull Deku into the pool the Miyok's like nope pulling out his sword then saying hmm and saying um, dragon slayer slash I'm trying to slash Shigaraki Shigaraki sees this nearly getting hit and he's like, shit. Then the Nomu, he's like, Nomu, block it. And then it's, Nomu's trying to block it as best as he can. But then he slices through the Nomu's chest. But giving enough time for Shigaraki to get away with Zoro or aka Deku. They're like, Mihawk's like, I can save him. And then he's like, oh, I can save him. He's like, and he would make a good swordsman as well. That's a very sad thing. What would what would he do? And he's already damaged. And he's like, his sword's still here. So he can't fight. He's like, okay, so he sheaths Zora's sword and then he's like, I'm I'm gonna keep it with me. I wait for him. Mihawk does the liberty of buying Zora some swords. He's like, uh, they're like um Mr. Mihawk, but you only use one sword, he's like, yeah, um, the demon, the, the, the demon of Mesa, the got captured, I'm getting him some swords, then I'm gonna save him. They're like, oh wow, we have some cursed blades, we have some blades, he's like, I'll get the cursed blades, like, that will kill him, he's like, no, he has enough power to withstand it. He has the qualities of a king. Worthy of the will of D, having conquerors hockey. So then he's like, "What's that?" The Mihawk's like, "Oh, never mind." He's like, "Are you relatives or something?" He's like, mm, "In a way, but not really. No, not by blood, but in a way, yes." So then he gets the swords he got in canon, Sadi, and Yuki. Yukibira. You know I hate forgetting the sword's name. Yubishiri. You Yubishiri. Alright, and he gets Yubishiri. So then Yubishiri is the most forgetful forgettable name. Like Sadi, Wanda Chimonji, Shishui. Those are all very memorable names. Even Amane Hakaberi and Enma. These are very memorable swords, and we've only seen them like a bit. So, and then he's like, "I'll, I'll rescue Zoro and teach him a bit for two years. I'll teach him, then he could do what he wants." So then, so then they're like, oh, "Shit, we're gonna have to save." Him. Then it comes to the point where Shigaraki's Rock is like. Join the league. 
uh, no, I'm saying she rocks the same age as Zora, by the way. Uh, so yeah, he's the same age in this timeline. None of Shinora died, kind of. Same All Might still has this prime power. All Might still in his like thirties. All Might's not forty something. Hold money F. Uber fall was nasty. I I should have paused the video, but that just came up. Anyway. No, I'm gonna say he's like join the league, and we'll get you, s and we'll help you get more power. He's like, and how will you do this? And he's like, our lead gives you a quirk. Zora's like, I'm not interested in having a quirk. I have all I need. Being quirk, cause he's like, you may become powerful, but the so, but the, but if you got a quirk, you would exceed your limits. And then Zora's like, I have no limits. It was, I said Zora. If it sounds like Zora or Sora, for your Kingdom of Hearts play, but it was, um, then sorry. But yeah. Anyway. Hmm. Hmm. He like no, I don't need a quirk. I have no limit. Then he laughs. Says you think though. Then there's a knock on the bar, and then they're like, and she goes, he's like, what? What? How? how? Then Mihawk slices the building. Then he pushes Zora to the ground. And he's like, why did you save me? He's like, well, you're kind of part of the plan, so I can't get you killed. And he's like, and then Mihawk kicks the roof off the building, sending it flying. Right, they're like, what the fuck, you're the number one hero, why would you slice a building up, then send it, they're probably going to destroy something in the city, he's like, hmm, I may be the number one hero, but it wasn't by choice, they're like, what do you mean, he's like, that's a lot to explain, he's like, anyway, you're going to return my new student, and then, like, hmm, and then, they try to teleport away, like awful one comes. And he's like, if you beat me, you get your student. And it's like, okay, sure. Mihawk wipes the floor with awful one. He even gets, he, he doesn't even use his sword. He uses a knife. He disrespects him with the knife. He's like, you're not, you're, you don't have true power. You only use people's quirks and don't train yourself. You're slicing him. Slicing him until he's like, I'm gonna end you. And then he adds hockey to his knife, slicing on Fawn's head. The heroes are like, What? Heroes aren't supposed to kill. And he's like, Again, I was forced to be a hero, and you guys know that. I would rather be a bounty hunter. So then they're like, Mihawk doesn't learn, bro. That's another. Bit of paperwork for the courts and Nezu to sign. And people are cheering, though. They're like, he killed the number one villain. Yes, 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 yes. Finally, we can't live without fear. Chigaraki, like, Master, no, why? I'm good for vengeance. To kill Mihawk, he's like, I mean, I'm gonna kill him before you can even touch him because I want to become the world's greatest swordsman. So you're not gonna get any revenge. Second, untie me now. And he's like, no, Kuragiri. And then they're about to teleport. This time, Mihawk blitzes Shigaraki and takes Zoro. And he's like, all right, we're going back to you. Then it's like he disappears, but he really just uses his speed, like he's running really fast. And Zoro's like, you're fast, and he's like. And then when they get back to UA, they're like, whew. And Zora is back and he's like, and he looks like, I took the liberty of getting you some swords. Because if you had your three swords, maybe you could actually fight. And he's like, oh, shh. He's like, wait, isn't that a cursed sword? And he's like, you can handle it if you actually are worthy of the name and the will of the D and your conqueror's hockey. So Zora throws the sword up in the air and like, what are you doing? 
and they know about custom blades and how they can kill people and they're like, why would you get him that? Then it doesn't cut him, it does what ha happened in canon, he says, it's a good sword. And then he's like, I can see this. these blades are very good quality from my level, and he's like, yep. So Zoro is like, well, I'm a, I don't really want to be a hero anymore. And um, Nihawk's like, well, I'm not really the number one. Technically, All Might is. I'm forced. I'm going to train you for a while. Two years. They're like, they're not, and they're, they're like, yeah, but Mihawk, you need to be doing, like, you need to be in the city. He's like, two year hiatus, I retire on being a hero. I'll be a bounty hunter as well. He's like, mm, you see, young Zoro here has a lot of potential. Zoro and Mihawk trained for those years. And boy, when I say the training pays off. Hold on. Here are some pictures that match. God, you're loud, Alexa. Not even Alexa. What image I'll choose? I'll choose this one. I can't be bothered. Alright, so he gets this. You'll be like, but your image, then I have that at the top. Which is called editing shit out. Like, honestly. Right, simple. So after the two years, he be looking tall. He be looking tall. <sighs> imperfections really piss me off. Like I said, imperfections really piss me off. Is this good enough? Now that's what I'm talking about. Imperfections be pissing me off, bro. Okay, now we can continue. So after the two years, he looks like this. Oh, shit, I forgot to get him his sword, um, Shishui. Basically, what happens, they, when he comes back to UA, this is how he gets Shishui. USJ, a few years later, oh, yeah, that Nomu wasn't refined, by the way, so that's why. And then the Nomu attacks with um, the samurai. The legendary samurai Ryuma arises and he's like, Boy, if you can beat me, I'll give you my sword and this power. So then Zoro, aka Deku, he fights Ryuma, gets a bit of battle damage, but he wins. Then he gets this Shishui and he's like, It's a good sword, it's very heavy. And he only had two swords now because his sword rusted when he fought Mihawk again. So then he's like, okay, now I have my three swords again. And then they're like, that's a legendary sword from Japan. It's our secret treasure sword. He's going to get a lot of hate for having that. So then he's like, okay, let me try a new move. Nigiri Tawaka. I don't even know what Nigiri stands for, bro. Hold on. This nigga names every f every move about food. Next move he learns sushi. One we have ongiri. Then we have nigiri, which is a sushi. And next we're gonna have literal sushi. Sashimi is your next move, I'm guessing. Uh, uh, bro, Japanese food is the only move, only thing you name your moves about. Like, right, bro. Basically saying sushi, tower climb, whatever. Bro. Anyway, he uses that move. Saying sushi, cl tower climb, whatever, bro. Nigiri, tower climb. And then he hits, he hits something, the Nomu. Sending it flying. He's like, I know the thing could only be hit from the brain and killed there. So he's like. Santori. It was like three sword style. 
3,000 work. Then he starts spinning, spinning, spinning his sword, his two swords, right? Then, then me looks like, oh, he's going to use this move. New move I help to teach him. And he's just spinning, spinning, spinning. So now, the, now all they see is spinning swords. Then he shoots at him, using hockey, like, now his swords are covered. Hold on. Check out these pictures of Rob. That's what we're talking about. That move. It's too OP, bro. Like, now you see this, like... Only people who say Zoro is weak. So, then he's like, now, and then he spins flying at him, then slices his brain, and he slices the whole building apart, and then they're like, oh, 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 it's like, maybe you went a little too overkill there, because he sliced someone the size of a mountain, I'm going to say he sliced the whole building, all the, like, well, he sliced half of the building. And then, I'm going to say Cementos was the, so the building was falling, right? So Cementos was like, he just destroyed the building, I have to fix it. So he's like, he's cementing everything back together. He's like, you nearly killed a lot of people using that move. And then he's like, they're like, Mijo, what did you teach him? He's like, I taught him a lot. A lot helped him, but he learned these moves himself. I helped him refine his hockey, his moves, and I even taught him one of my finishing moves. Godly slicer. They're like that giant slash move that can slash a tsunami, that can destroy any mountain it comes across, that can probably slice this planet in half if you wanted it to. And he's like, yes, that move. And, uh, and then Bucky was like, how could a quarkless Deku get this powerful? And he was running it, and Deku's like, quarkless Deku? And his hands are ignited, all the... Deku dodges him, like, he does that sword maneuver, using his swords to dodge across Bakugo, then knocking Bakugo out with his elbow. They're like, oh, no, he didn't even take Bakugo seriously. And they're like, Bakugo, one of the strongest people in UA. He didn't take it seriously. And then Deku's like, ah, oh, I forgot to reintroduce myself. I'm going to be helping teach a UA. They're like, what? They're like, but you're, you're, you're young enough to be a student. He's like, I don't want to be a hero. I'm a bounty hunter. If worst comes to worst, I'll get my bounty. Technically, I should have a bounty. Mihawk's like, correction, you do have a bounty. He's like, what? He's like... When you first started UA, it was 120 million because of the amount of people you killed. And now your bounty is 320 million yen. Well, nah, it's 500 million yen. He's like, what? They're like, they're shocked. They're like, 520 million yen bounty. Now I'm gonna say 582 million yen bounty. And then Chaku faints. She's like, can you please lend me the money? And then. Mihawk's like, well, you see, the bounty technically can count if there's someone that can beat you, that wants to beat you, but most heroes don't even care about like, what you're doing because you're actually helping them. And he's like, oh yeah, that bounty also comes from you slaying a few heroes that raped people. Even though they raped people, they were heroes and you shouldn't have killed them. That's at least what the state thinks. I think otherwise... I even have a bounty myself, there's 5 million. Deku's shocked in this, he's like, I mean, 5, my 5 billion yen. And Deku's shocked, he's like, 5 billion yen? How? He's like, no one can actually beat me, so I have no to fear. If you beat me, your bounty will probably raise to 11, 11 billion yen because of your threat. So then Zoro and Deku is like, this is a very, these swords are very powerful. I've grown a lot of power, but I still have a lot to learn. Oh yeah, he didn't hit the Nomu yet, so he's like, 
oh, I'm tired of this sacred god slicer. He uses one sword to do it. If he uses all three swords, it's three times the size of the picture I have here. This is the move that can slice a tsunami. Okay? The move that missed and sliced a tsunami. Alright? You're... If you're telling me it doesn't do that shit, this shit could slice the Moby Dick, which was a gigantic ship. Like, do you know how big Whitebeard is? Like, a tsunami was coming in. Mihawk sliced the ice tsunami in half. And he's like, alright, well. Yeah, and now imagine Zoro, if he used three swords. He's like, Mihawk's like, if he used three swords, his would be bigger than mine when I'm not trying. So, Mihawk's like, when I use that sacred god slice on me. If I wanted to, I could destroy this planet with it, yes. I could destroy the moon with it, yes. I could destroy the sun with it, yes. I could destroy the solar system with it, yes. But I don't want to. So then he's like, they're like, that's scary. And he's like, at most, Zoro, you're, you're mountain level. They're like, he could destroy a mountain! No, he says, no, you're probably, yeah, you're, you're country level. That he could destroy a country. Oh my, it's punch, it's mountain level. Not country level. He's like, well, he surpassed the mountain level a long time ago. Then, he's like, well, through the first year of training, second year, he, he became country level. Now, I think he could actually... Yeah, he, he can destroy. Maybe next he can become continental. Or multi-continental. That would be very... So basically, wipe out... Of, wipe out the civilization of Earth. It wouldn't even take him a year. Right now, with his power, it would take him a year. Because he would have to wipe out a few hundred countries with one gigantic slash. And that... Yeah, but when your slash continues, right? Mihawk, what what happens if your slash hits a, a skyscraper? He's like, oh yeah, that's happened a lot. But Cementos has just teleported to the direction that it goes in and puts cement, like makes a cement wall, a giant cement wall for that thing to hit so it doesn't go and destroy a skyscraper. I've sliced a tsunami in half before, so... They're like, tsunami? Oh, hell no. They're like, enough of this power talking. He's like, it missed. And then he's like, fine, I'll do it with two. He's like, you're doing two tame times the scale of attack mountain level. And he's like, heavenly god slicer. Then he slices. It hits the gnome this time, slicing his brain in half, melting it actually. Yes, he evaporates its brain and disintegrates its body from the slash. And they're like, he's a high, he's a higher level than all my. And they're like, how in only two years did you get this strong? He's like, I'm from training. I was already at the level of endeavor, but now I'm above it. Oh yeah, Mihawk lives in his castle with his throne and shit. And they're like, and so they're like, well, we're going to do a hero camp at Dracula Meewalk's house. And then Perona, someone who's like Perona is there. I'm going to say, it's, uh, I'm gonna say Meewalk took them in after their home was destroyed by one of his slashes. And Meewalk trained them ever since. I'm going to say it's an eight-year-old girl who he's training to use sword and Zoro helps train... So, I'm going to say, no, how old is Eri? Eri be, hmm, Eri, Eri's only, almost, if she's not six, I'm saying she's six. I don't give two shits, I don't give two shits and a flying fuck, I'm saying it. And so, she's like, oh shit, Big Brother Zoro, oh, Mihawk, dad. Basically, she calls Mihawk dad and Zoro, Big Brother, do I have to explain? They took her in. So Zoro teaches her all the time. Mihawk teaches her when he's free. 
Is that the Hugs Bottle? Yeah. Like, huh, so. So you to me. So, the, so then there's he, a throne, and the table. There are two, the literal two. Like a chair that looks like a throne. There are two. Zora will be sitting at the end. If you saw me walk's house, have you seen what the fuck? He, 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 he like his house it looks like he just sits on a throne for, for no. On the free. These are the top results. Mihawk's chair. My guy, Mihawk's chair. One, uh, it's a castle. They're like, this is the first time we've had more than three people here. And they're like, yeah. Um, they're like, how much is this thing? Zora's like, mm, probably, let me guess, me or your bounty, five billion yen. Five billion Japanese yen oh. equals thirty-seven million seven hundred and seventy-two thousand one hundred and eighty-seven pounds. Now let me check USD. Come on. This is always like, it's about 40, it's about 50 million dollars. They're like, oh my, oh my God. This place is expensive. This is like, well, I can't even afford this and I have about 2 billion yen right now. I've been saving, I've been bounty hunting for a while, I've been on the grind. If I turn myself in, get in prison for a year, I'm a, I could see if I could get my own bounty. But I think I wouldn't even have a bounty anymore at this point. Mihawk's like, they'll just probably publicly execute you or something. I don't think they'll do that though, because I'm literally training you and the amount of villains you've caught. They're like, we may as well give you a hero license. Then I saw it all work. Yes, see you know how it works. You should just, and then he just like, yeah, you have to get to school and hero school and then, and then, and then. And then, me host like, he's stronger than you, all my. It says, okay, All Might against, um, and he says, everyone against Zoro. And then they go outside and they see the monkeys. They're like, in fact, we need to see your strength, All Might. Fight all of these monkeys. He's like, are you sure? This is this is animal abuse. Like, they will beat you. Zoro's like, they will beat you in a fight. They beat the shit out of me. <laughs> And then Baku goes like, ha, mon you can get beat by monkeys. Deku throws him at the monkey. The monkey starts wailing on, wailing on him, bro. He's like, he just keeps beating the shit out of Baku. Baku, the first punch of Baku, face unrecognizable. They're like, 
Uh, this this monkeys can do this. Oh my god. Okay, now I can fight them. He tries to fight the monkey. The monkey clashes with him. He's like, he's more than ten percent of my power. He's like, all right, twenty five percent. He's more than twenty five percent of my power. Look. All right, thirty percent. Now he's overpowering the monkey. He's like, now I see. But this is this is the giant monkey with me. Right. <laughs> Here are some results from a search. Uh, this guy, bro. Like, this is who all might be facing. And at this point, he's like, he has Mihawk sword on steroids. On steroids, just not as a black blade. If y'all wanted to know what Mihawk sword looks like without a black, like, not as a black blade, there you go. So, all my slack. Then he pulled. Then he pulls out the sword, and this is what blows all my way. Almost pushed back with the air pressure of the slash, and then he's like, Zoro's like, if you can't even beat this, almost like Texas smash, knocking the monkey out. And he's like, damn, it took me thirty percent. And so then almost like I'm tired of this. United States of Smash, hearing all of the monkeys sending them flying, knocking them out. He's like. All right, now, now Zoro, we can fight. That like, wait, Zoro is the equivalent of all my thirty percent at his prime. Now he's more than that. And he's like, well, all my, you're not soloing me. Everyone's going against me. So, that like, make a teamwork plan. I'll be sitting on a chair. So Zoro's sitting on a chair, just a, a regular, expensive-ass looking chair, be looking like a throne, for some weird-ass reason, every chair, Mihawk sitting on, every chair in his house looks like that. Every chair in his house looks like that. So everyone be sitting on those. Also, but Zoro bought his own chair, his own distinct throne, luxury chair, green velvet. So everyone's like, this isn't fair. Like, we team with All Might, Endeavor, the Wawa Pussycats, like, Aizawa. Like, we can prove if he doesn't have a quirk. Like, then we have, and Todoroki can freeze him. Like, so they make their plan. So Todoroki makes the ice, so they slip on it. And, like, they, they go sliding on it, going towards, the, and Todoroki makes sure they won't fall. And so then he tries to freeze Deku. Deku teleports behind him. He not even has. He doesn't even have his sword. Like he punches him regularly, punching him to the ground, and knocking him out. Like he one shot him. He one shot him. Todoroki stands up, bloody face, and he's like, "You're not gonna stop. All right, freeze me." Like this guy's stupid. So they shoot the ice at him. Like he's done. The Zoro just, he rolls his eyes like they can see it and then he just goes like, Tsh, and he breaks it. Then he again punches Todoroki regularly, finally knocking him out. He's like, who's next? That's why you shouldn't solo me. They're like, this is not good. I'm going to say, someone in one egg has a healing quirk. So she tries to run over to Todoroki, heal him. Deku's like, go ahead, heal him, but he's useless. So Todoroki activates fire and ice, trying to combine both to freeze and burn Deku. Deku again. Like, but then All Might rushes in, like, ah, oh, Texas Smash! Trying to punch Deku in the face with a Texas Smash. Deku actually smashes the ice, pulls out one blade, puts it blunt sided. No, I'm gonna say he puts it. The sharp side and points it and about to and he uses an air slash and all might sending him flying back and he's like then he puts his sword away and he's like hmm still not having to try then Baku goes like die you shitty nerd and then we say Baku goes Baku gets beat the shit out so he's like 
Bakugo, you're so weak. I'm gonna give you a devil fruit. This is the dark, dark fruit here. You <laughs> he throws it at him. He's like, Mio is like, that is 15 billion yen you've gave away for free. Are you stupid? And he's like, and he's like oh shit. He snatches the fruit back. And he's like, you ain't having this. I'm selling this. And he's like, 15 million yen. He's like, why didn't you, you even use the devil fruit? He's like, I'm gonna beat you at your own game. Hockey. And for me, he's smart. He's like, so you're not gonna use cheat codes. You're gonna fight me just purely hockey. When you get strong enough, he's like, yep. When I feel like I can beat you, I'll fight you. Simple. So then he's like, all right, all right. So all my and then devil, and they combine their attacks. So then. So does everyone combines an attack. Even Momo putting in her cannon to make a harder impact. Ida kicking his foot down. Like no, he Ida kicks it adding his blue fire to it and from his feet. Todoroki adding a, a fire and ice to it. Making an elemental tornado sending it towards Deku. And Deku is like <laughs> Dragon Slayer slash he is you know, and he doesn't even use a move. He just pulls out, he pulls out with one sword and tries to block it. He's being pushed back a bit. Like, it's always like, shit, this is pushing me back. And he's using one hand. And this is about to hit him. So he pulls out two swords, trying to direct it away. And he's like, so he pulls it back. Then he puts away the sword. He's like, I, I want to see what the damage would be. He gets hit by it and he's like, he feels like he got stabbed, like there was an ice spike in it that stabbed through him, he's like... And he didn't stab his, through his back, he has no scar on his back, he's like... Well, he, he, you know, obviously he's already got the ice spear. It just grazes him a little. So then, and the wind thing, it hit him. Full on, he took a bit of damage, he's like... Okay, you since you guys going all out, oh my, this, like, United States smash! Hitting Zoro's arm, breaking it, very epic. He's like, so you're gonna play dirty all my? He activates his hockey and punches all my on the ground, like, on his face. Then he activates hockey on his foot, stepping on all my. Like, so we're gonna play dirty. And he picks all my up, punches him, flying back. And then he's like, then, again, you're going to have to try. All Might goes his infinite 100% form, rushing at Deku, trying to parry him somehow. Like, and then Deku is just like, my turn. And he's like, but... He's like, hmm, iron bullet. Punching All Might's fist down into the ground making a large crater like bigger two times bigger than before like a missile shot but all might gets up and he's like that was fun but still not enough he punches he punches Zoro into the ground Zoro is like I see you are a worthy opponent for me to actually fight he's like do you want me to go all out all my suck Yes, I do. He's like, since I have respect for you, he puts on his bandana, he gets his swords out, and he activates his eyes. says, three swords though, 3,000 worlds. And at this point, he's spinning. He's spinning. He's spinning so far. He spins towards All Might, blitzing him, making a scar on him, knocking him out. Mate, like, like I did this in another what if. Like basically, it all might has no pulse, but his heart's still beating. I know it doesn't make sense, but this is an anime. What if? So I can do whatever I want. And this makes all might knock it out for three weeks. And it's like, that was a good. That was a good opponent. And that was like, fine and fire armor. So then he wants at Deku trying to punch him. Trying to even use dirty moves. One of his dirty moves hits Deku, angering him. You're fighting dirty. 
He's like a divine slag. No, he's like tiger hunt. And then he punches he punches him with the power on the they could see like a tiger flat floating along hit, hitting him death on the stomach too. Like also him punching Endeavor in the face. So then Endeavor like oh, what just he just just punched me into the ground. And Endeavor Endeavor's pummeled like he's he's took damage, like a lot of damage in there and he's like you guys still have to come at me. Truth is everyone comes at him and they lose. The only person who put up was a fight. Was all my, and then me looks like now Zoro, you will fight me. We will fight using hockey. He's like, you beat me so many times. It's not fair. He's like, it wasn't fair on the other people though. He's like, fine. I'm powering up all of his power into one hit. He's like, the slash would be able to destroy a whole entire country. He's like. He's using it. He's he's using that ability, Miho. And he's like, Miho's like, okay, this slash can destroy multiple continents if I wanted it. And then he's like, they both say, heavenly, divine, godly slash. And then they're so big, but Miho's is way bigger. Like, like that shit looks like it could generally destroy a continent. So then Zoro. Says it about like he does it about three times, making it equal. They're like, oh hell no. So now he's like, hell. Oh yeah, and they're still pushing it with their swords. So like they're like, so Zora's like, you're a worthy opponent, mules. So are you. But utterly it hits Zora. Adding a slash on him and explodes. And then Zoro is out. And the Mewok puts away his sword and is like, You have fought very well. Alright, I've realised I've went on for way too long. No, I haven't. I want to continue. No, I don't. Goodbye.